G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, Rugby League is over for 2023 and I am gutted as I'm sure most of you... What? Saturday the 14th of October, what's that? The Rugby League Pacific Championship starts. Oh, I forgot about that. You've got six nations going at it in two divisions. You've got the Pacific Bowl that has Papua New Guinea, Cook Islands, and Fiji. And over in the Pacific Cup, you've got Samoa, Australia, and New Zealand. Crazy stuff. I'm super pumped. And today, guys, we are going to predict all of it. So we're going to start with the Pacific Bowl first. I'm going to quickly go over some of the notable players for PG, uh, P, PG, PNG, and Fiji. Uh, I don't think the Cook Island side has been announced yet, but uh, let's jump into Papua New Guinea, who have selected a pretty strong lineup. Uh, some notable players there: Alex Johnston, Dan Russell, Edwin Epape, uh, Jack De Bellin, huge in there. Titans uh, rookie Jacob Alec. You've got Justin Olam, the Laybutt boys, uh, Lachlan Lamb killing it over for the Lee Leopards, uh, Nene McDonald, Nixon Putt, uh, you've got Reese Martin returning, Roderick Ty, plenty of talent there for the Papua New Guinea boys. I think they're going to be nearly impossible to stop. Uh, over to Fiji, where is their lineup? Here we go. For Fiji, notable players there, Wanga Blake. Jareen Bulla, Kurt Donahue, you've got Tui Kamikamika, who is the captain, uh, Tane Milne, Mikali Ravalawa, you've got uh, Micah Sivo, you've got Sunia Thuruva, uh, then Brennan Wakeham, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's still a pretty decent squad, but definitely not as strong as we've seen years gone by, I guess. So... Yeah, look, I think this is going to be a cracking series. I really do. I think there's going to be one clear winner, though. Obviously, Cook Island side hasn't been named yet, so I can't really go off what their roster is going to look like. But let's get into the predictions here, guys. So for the first game, we've got Papua New Guinea against the Cook Islands. I think this is going to be a relatively good win here for Papua New Guinea. I think they'll get up 38 to 16. 13 plus margin if you're going to have a punt on this one. And Papua New Guinea will be way too strong. In the next one, we've got Fiji Bati against the Cook Islands. Uh, I think Fiji win this one as well. I don't think it'll be as comfortable as Papua New Guinea win it, but I think Fiji get a 12 point win, 26 to 14 over the Cook Islands. All right, for the third game, of the Pacific Bowl. We've got Papua New Guinea taking on Fiji, and I genuinely think Papua New Guinea will be too strong here. Once again, getting a 24 to 14 win over Fiji. And then obviously the final of the Pacific Bowl will be between Papua New Guinea and Fiji. So they'll both back up there. Uh, I think Papua New Guinea win that one as well. I'm going 20 points to 12, an eight point win. So uh, yeah. That's my predictions for the uh, for the Pacific Bowl. I think Papua New Guinea will be way too strong here. I think they they just they, their squad looks outstanding. The players they've picked, I think, will do an amazing job for their nation. And I'm keen to see a lot of the young kids coming through as well. It's always great to see young Papua New Guinea boys coming through because I tell you what, they put their heart on their sleeve and they really go and give it their all. So that is my pick there for the Pacific Bowl. Papua New Guinea being the champions in that one. All right, for the uh, Pacific Cup, but the team lists have been announced for this one as well. I'm going to scroll down a bit here because they were the first ones to be announced. So the Australian squad, obviously there have been some changes here. So Josh Adokar, Paddy Carrigan, Daly Cherry Evans, uh, Nathan Cleary, who has been ruled out, and Nico Hines in his place. Selwyn Cobbo, Lindsay Collins, Ruben Cotter, Tina Fasua Malawi, Tom Flegler, Harry Grant, Payne Haas, Valentine Holmes, Ben Hunt, Liam Martin, Cameron Munster, Cameron Murray, uh, Katoni Staggs, Hamaso Tabuai Fado, James Tedesco, Jake Trebojevic, and Isaiah Yo. Dylan Edwards has also been added to the squad. So I'm very pumped about this. I think this will be a cracking. Team, I think they, this is 
I'd say arguably the best team in the comp, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, I think Australia will likely go a long way. For Samoa, Jesse Arthurs, Dejan Arce, Gordon Chan, Kum Tog, Stephen Crichton, uh, Suolavi, Bailongo, Royce Hunt, Luciano Lelua, Canelli uh, Lemuelu, Spencer Lemu, Helam Luki, Greg Mazu, Justin Matamua, Terrell May, Carl Oluwapu, uh, Keenan Palacia, Junior Bolo, Isaac Tango, Young Tony Mopea, Brian Tao, and Stefano Utui Kamanu. Very strong lineup. The only thing that stares at me is there's no real halves pairing here. I guess I'll go with Dejan Arce and potentially uh, Carl Oluwapu. However, I'm hearing reports Stephen Crichton could play 5-8 with RC at halfback and uh, Oluwapu in dummy half. Not too sure how they're going to go there, but I think uh, Chen Kum Tong honestly plays in dummy half. I think we'll probably see Crichton play in the centres. Then I think Arthur's, uh, sorry, Dejan RC and uh, Oluwapu are in the halves. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's as strong as it has been. I don't think this will be as a... Com- I think they'll they'll compete. I don't think they'll get blown out by any means, but I, I do think they'll be competitive. However, I don't think... Uh, I don't think Samoa will win too many games in this, in this comp. Just my honest opinion. And I know a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people had Samoa falling out pretty early in the World Cup. I'm one that actually had them go into the final. If you don't believe me, go and watch my prediction video. I did have Samoa going to the final to play Australia. So crazy stuff happened there. I was right with that. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be very interesting for Samoa, but uh, definitely not their strongest lineup they could have named. For the uh, the Kiwis, another team that's gone, uh, not as strong of a lineup. You've got uh, Big Nass there, Dylan Brown, Faimanu Brown, James Fisher-Harris, Kieran Fournit, Wurumu Greg, uh, Jerome Hughes, Jermaine Osaka, Keanu Kinney, Moses Leota, Danny Levi, Joseph Manu, Ronaldo Mulatalo, Griffin Neem, Charles Nickel Klockstad, uh, Bruce Nakora, Isaiah Papali'i, Joseph Tapane, Leo Thompson, Matthew Tomoko, and Nafahu White. So interesting lineup here. Uh, look, their, their forward pack is freaking elite. It looks outstanding, but I don't know. It's, it's definitely not the strongest side they could have named. I think that uh, I think they might struggle a little bit as well, to be honest. But you never know. This forward pack is freaking outstanding, and I think that is where if they do win, that is where they'll win it. But uh, yeah, interesting lineups there. Uh, for my predictions, the first game, Australia versus Samoa. I do think Australia gets the win here. I think it'll be a 1-12 to 12 margin. I think Samoa will be competitive, but I just can't see them winning this game. So Australia win it there for me. In the second game, the Kiwis against Samoa. I think this will be another very competitive uh, game, but I think the forward pack of the Kiwis will be too strong there for the Samoans. I've got the Kiwis winning this one 17-16. I apologize, Samoan fans. You know, I, I think we could, uh, this could all come back to bite us because Samoa, they got heart, that team, they really do. And they could they could, could uh, prove everybody wrong like they did in the World Cup. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do have Samoa falling out in straight sets. Uh, the Kangaroos, I've got beating the Kiwis 22-14 in the final of the, I guess you could say, regular season games. And then the, the final of the Pacific Cup, I think Australia will name their 100% best lineup here. And I think they will put a 13-plus win over the Kiwis. I've got Australia winning 30 points to 16. All right, guys, that is my uh, final predictions. Let me know yours down in the comments. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, my friends, I'll see you then. Let's go.